The Wheat School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by CNMC, Syngenta Canada, and the Alberta Wheat Commission. Hi, I'm Bernard Tobin. Welcome to the Wheat School. Today I'm in Palmerston, Ontario, near CNMC's, and I'm joined by Marika Vanderland from Syngenta. How are you doing? I'm good. Doing well. Great to have you back. I'm, I'm, hey, I had a beautiful day. It's not it too is. sunny. Yes. 23 degrees. Peter Johnson will be happy. This is beautiful wheat weather, it as you know. Beautiful wheat weather. And some beautiful wheat. Hey, one of the things I want to talk about today is plant growth regulators. Um, yep. A new, you know, a new tool that's in the toolbox, going across more and more acres. Got to apply it in the spring. Spring is getting busy. What does that mean for growers? Yeah, for sure. So it is a busy time of year. There's lots to do. When it comes to the wheat crop, often we still want to get a herbicide down, that T1 fungicide, and now we're adding PGRs mm -hmm. to the mix too. And like you said, more acres are getting PGRs. So, you know, when I look at the, the calls that come into Syngenta, one of the biggest number one questions we get that time of year is can I tank mix you know fungicide herbicide PGR all together so we wanted to answer that question so um, myself together with two sales interns Jack and Katie mm -hmm. helping me out this year we sprayed a four rep 11 treatment trial right here in partnership with CNM seed so really proud and happy with the collaboration that we've had here you know, chatting with the good folks at CNM, you know, could we do something like this? They provided this field and they're gonna, we're gonna take it to yield. They're gonna run their plot combine right. through it. So we're, it's just fantastic that we can uh, do this trial, so. Let's talk about this trial. Yeah. I want you to take me through it. Now, as yep. you say, you've got the different treatments. Yes. Talk about uh, from one to five and, yeah. uh, and what they've looked like throughout the season and, you know, whether there's been any impact on that, sh shall we say, you know, uh, yeah. loading up of different products. Right, because the number, one thing we're concerned about is that phyto response. You know, if I combine all these things, will I get phyto? And that can maybe turn up in different ways. But so treatment one, completely untreated, no treatment at all. So that's actually right behind us here. You can see this is Pro 81, nice, tall, beautiful variety here. And seeing a little bit of lodging starting. We had some rain this morning, so it's amazing ready right, to see that starting here. Um, but uh, then we started layering things on. So modus on its own the PGR in this trial, and then uh, with a fungicide, then with a herbicide, so a three-way tank mix, and that's quite common. And we used a common uh, herbicide that's used in Ontario. And then we added on a biological, because that's starting to come up now, yep, are, are these biological products, so things that can kind of mitigate stress, or there's some nitrogen-fixing bacteria out there too now, so adding that on. Um, and then foliar fertilizers, that's common as well, that some growers want to add in a foliar fertilizer. So we have a five-way tank mix in this mm -hmm. trial as well. And then we've done some water volumes, yeah. so 10 gallons versus 20 gallons, mm -hmm. because we often say just go up with water volume. Yeah. So does that make a difference? Exactly. And we, we had a look at that here. So tell me what you found here. I mean, one of the things that you, you, you mo mentioned before we started was water volume is very important. Right. Yeah. So basically what we found, amazingly, very little phyto in this trial. So we had to really look, Jack and Katie did assessments in this trial. And the worst that we saw was 1.8%. Mm -hmm. You know, we had to really dig into that. And that was just seen in that five-way tank mix at the 10 gallon per acre water volume. Mm -hmm. So when we went up to 20, that largely mitigated that. So when it came to that visual phyto, you know, a week after we applied, basically saw nothing. We did get a frost, however, a couple of days after we applied. And so the entire field plot area had some what we'd call phyto, but because we had the untreated treatment, we knew all right. of that was due just to the frost. So yeah, from a, from a visual, really we've seen nothing concerning at this point. We've also done some height assessments. Numerically, can see some trends potentially, but statistically speaking, mm -hmm. we ran you know analysis on the data. There were no differences um, to be concerned about. Yeah. But at the end of the day, yield is going to tell yeah. the story. Exactly, you're going to take it to yield. But throughout the season, you've seen nothing yeah. what you would call concerning. Exactly. Um, by layering up those levels, and you know the thing about I want to ask you is if you know. This is just one trial, exactly. and uh, you know, and PGRs are new for a lot of farmers and yeah. a lot of new ground, and, and growers need to keep an eye on it. And another thing is, hey, there's probably more product down the road here. That yeah. these layers are going to get more and more because that's yeah. where management's going. Yeah, exactly. So I talked about biological. So we have a product called Megafol in this trial from Syngenta that helps with stress mitigation. 
but then there's Utrichas out there, there's Invita, no, Syngenta, no, Nitrogen Skinny. fixing stuff? And yeah, the nitrogen fixing bacteria, and that's the timing, is that T1 timing. So there's a lot more to layer on. And uh, so this is something we want to keep looking at. I think this is an important agronomic issue that uh, the industry is always asking every year. Yep. And uh, we have the tools in the toolbox to uh, be able to conduct some trials like this. And just again, great partnership with CNM to make this happen. Awesome. Well, hey, a great research trial. Thank you yeah. for uh, taking this time yeah. and uh, dropping in on the Wheat School. Yeah, thank you very much, Bern.